This all happened Monday morning. I left the warehouse around 3.30 a.m. Why the video footage of it happening? There isn't much to talk about on Monday. Before noon, I used my old man's body to call this one. Boss. You might not know this, but she and my father go back about six years. The two shared a terrible secret. Hinting at that was enough to get the boss to come running to me immediately. I injected her with a sedative, then brought her body to the chemical plant. I synced with her, exchanged our bodies, and after blowing my father's brains out, I cut his body into pieces. And put him in a vase. Vase. I stuffed the meat yep. into a vase I'd brought earlier, then drove back to my house. Saito spoke with grace and no sign of remorse. I was trying to keep my anger from boiling over and kept asking him questions. Why did you take out your own victim's eyes? This is what I'm curious. Why? You know and all about the prototype sink machine, don't you? That should explain it. I knew. The prototype sink machine differed from the one at Abyss in a few key ways. The machine at Abyss is more sophisticated. Nano cables from the sink gear enter through the gap between the eyeball and the socket. They then travel down the optic nerve canal to the brain. But the prototype sink machine isn't so advanced. To perform a sink, you need to remove the left eye manually. The subject and the sinker have to remove their eye from the socket and the sinker. Otherwise, the cables cannot enter the brain. Of course, even with the eye removed, severing the connection to the brain isn't necessary. She's still got both eyes, though. So... And so did Iris when... He was in Iris's body. The extracted eyeball still has the optic nerve and blood vessels connected. After a sink, the eye is supposed to be replaced back in the socket. Ah, okay, that's how they do it. It's supposed to be safe. Side effects are rare. Unless the nerve or blood vessels are damaged somehow, replacing the eyeball isn't too difficult. I just asked that, didn't I? Of course, I don't really care about eyes. I don't need them. All I cared about was exchanging bodies with the sink. And for that, I needed to remove the left eye. That's how she disposed of Shoko's left eye. She swallowed it as Renju. Whoa. Gross. Why didn't you just put the eyes back when you were done? That's obvious. Once I was finished transferring into a new body, the old one was of no concern to me. Why would I bother replacing the eye? I was just going to get rid of it anyway.
Where are the eyeballs that you removed? Shoko's is in Renju. Yep. Renju's is in Iris. Guessed it. Iris's Iris is, is, is in so So's, yep. Dad's and So's in, in Boss. Yep. You ate stomachs, the eye. I mean. Yeah. You sick bastard. Yep. Yes. I ate them. Immediately after exchanging personalities. How horrible. What's your motive? Homicide is my hobby. I have a tenacity for it. What can I say? Of course, it was also necessary to make sure people kept their mouths shut. If I took over someone's body, they would know about my crimes. I couldn't risk them reporting me, so I killed them. It was also a matter of revenge against you. It's personal. That's uh... why I chose people close to you as targets. Well, except for my father, of course. That was personal to me, but don't ask. It's embarrassing. So how long were you in Shoko's body? And where's the body of the person before Shoko? Re revenge against me? This series of murders was like a journey for me, you know? Traveling through bodies to finally reach the end. That's the thing about traveling. You always wind up in the same place, don't you? Where do you think that is? Your home. A trip is only complete once you return home. The same goes for me. When uh... I return home, my travels will come to an end. So I'll be needing it back. My body. Uh... What? You stole my body. You took it from me six years ago. That's why I want revenge. Uh, what? what are you talking about? You have no idea what it was like inside my own head. I miss it. I miss my brain, Date. No matter how many people I killed, it never worked. I never felt happy. I feel miserable. You... you mean... He was born with a brain dysfunction. Due to damage to the posterior pituitary gland, he was unable to properly secrete oxytocin. Oh, that's right. My old body. How are you finding it, Date? So the body that Date's in is missing its left eye because it's been used in the old prototype sink machine. And this body belongs to Saito Sejima. So where is Date's real body? This body is yours? That's what I've been telling you! But I don't have the same oxytocin deficiency you did. That is because I regularly supplement it. Ah. They must have increased your dosage too much. She did say that. No, but... The person who had this disorder was number 89. The original Cyclops killer. That is what I believed as well. But we must have misunderstood. Pewter did not specify who exactly was imprisoned. Only that one of the original culprits responsible was currently in prison. That's strange. That would mean number 89 is the previous chairman, Rohan. That must be it. Oh. Rohan is a parasite inside number 89's brain. Pewter must have known that. No way. I was confused. 
I didn't understand any of it. Let us determine the specifics using Saito as our starting point. Whose brain was he in before boss? So Sejima. And before so? Iris. Iris. And before that, Renju. Yep. And before that and was before that, Shoko. Shoko. But before that... And before Shoko? We have no idea. I'm guessing it was... Rohan. Whose body were you in before Shoko? I was a parasite inside Rohan's brain there six it is. years ago until last year. I'd lost most of my memories. I was a shell of a man. They housed me in a special hospital. But I still had those fragments of my mind left. Just as I explained earlier. From a single piece, you can recreate the whole. I took my time, slowly regaining my memories. One year ago, I remembered everything. I left the hospital and immediately sought out Shoko Nadami. I got her body, and she was in Rohan's. When she saw herself in the mirror, she lost her mind. She was confused, panicking, running up the emergency staircase, and then... Over the balcony. That's why Rohan committed suicide. After that, I spent a year perfecting my plan, using Shoko's body. I spied on you all this time. That's why I know everything about you. Before Rohan, he was in his in the body I'm in. But who's in my body? Where's my body? In there. In that no. body you are operating right now. In that skull. My personality lived there. Wait, hold on. If what you're saying is true, what about my personality? It was in Rohan. What? I'm not Rohan! Correct. It is just as he explained earlier. Number 89 was in Rohan's body. In other words... Uh... That's... My real... Oh... This is a huge lore dump. Keep talking. Sorry, but time's up. I want my body back. It's quite simple. Sink with me and stay inside my mind for more than six minutes. And if I refuse? <laughs> I know that you won't. I know it. Huh? Uh, and how Daddy, do you know look. that? This is streaming live. Oh. How... How is this streaming live? Damn you! If you give me back my body, I will give you the location. Oh, and of course, it isn't the chemical plant in the Kabasaki district. Iba, where's the source? It is being routed through numerous IPs. I cannot identify the source. 
Computer, contact headquarters now. Got it. Now, what will you do? Will you agree to my request? I don't think we have any any other choice, do we? I've got to try it. Date, I'm hurt. Don't you care about what happens to her? I have a feeling this might lead to an end. A bomb is strapped to her body. You're too stubborn. Or maybe you're just cold hearted. You want to see what will happen? When her flesh burns and tears and scatters. If you aren't quick, you'll see the whole thing. You know I'm not bluffing, don't you? I didn't agree, no matter how many times he demanded it of me. I refused again and again. Damn. And when I saw it, I understood. Boss's body rolled into the corner of the room. I didn't want to think anymore. Anything. Nothing. I closed my eyes and ran my palm across my face. I could taste blood. Bad end. Had a feeling that was going to lead to a band end, but I do want to see what for everything in the game, so. Nothing I didn't expect. Hopefully this just goes back to Oh it's all the way back here. I I can go back and do questions I didn't do before. Why did you display the bodies the way you did? To harass you. I wanted to bring out the hatred in you. That's why I called Mizuki to Bloom Park. That's why I streamed Iris's murder. Because they were important to you, weren't they? I wanted you to feel cornered, trapped. I wanted to punish you. Kaname Date. I don't know why she thought that Iris was close to us. We never had anything to do with her from a few days ago. We'd never met Iris before this investigation started. Why didn't the sink victims resist after waking? I'm guessing because they never woke. Ah, the prototype sink machine has a special feature. It administers a strong dose of sedatives to the original body and a stimulant to the host after a sink. That kept them docile. You know all that should explain. At least I can skip all this. Yeah. 
He was. May as well go straight door at this time. See? I knew you wouldn't refuse. I know you well, don't I, Date? I did refuse to start with. <laughs> I did it. I did it. I'm back. I got it all back. Hey, where's Hitomi? All right. I'll tell you as promised. Boss's house. However, it might be too late by now. Yeah. What? I knew it would be too late anyway. Why? It was on a timer, and if it exploded Why? so quick from before... Return my body, and I'll tell you the location. That's what I said. Yep. I didn't lie. I kept my promise. You bastard! <sighs> You're the one who injured that body. It's your own fault, really. Damn it. Be seeing you. Good job, Iber. Date, are you all right? Iber's voice barely resonated. My eyesight was hazy and I, a heap of broken images. Sweat was building on my palms. It felt like my throat was losing up, lo closing up, and I was struggling for breath. In my ears, the rushing blood of my heartbeat was the only sound. Everyone's dead. Shoko, Renju, Iris, Ota, Hitomi, Boss. The flesh remains, the mind is lost. I couldn't do anything. Saito had me right where he wanted me. Nothing. Nothing. Parallel worlds exist. The words suddenly echoed in my head. I couldn't remember who, or where, or why. But I thought that if there really worse was such a world, then me in that world, I is another. Could I have had a better future? I prayed that I could. I felt my consciousness sink into a black abyss. The question still is there of how did he get from Rohan's body into Shoko's? He was locked away in the hospital.
So yeah, I don't understand that. And to say that he was going after people that we were close to, Shoko, yeah, her daughter has lived with us, so we we're good friends. We looked after her daughter. Same as Renju, looked after his daughter, and he was our best friend. So, yep, fair enough. But then Iris, we'd never even met until we, until we started investigating Shoko's murder. And then from Iris went to Sosajima, which was his own revenge. So fair enough. And then back to boss. So being boss is boss. So fair enough. I don't get Iris. Why Iris? I'm thinking I'm probably reasonably close, but considering how far, how long it took from the extra bit in this path unlocking to finishing it, it's a bit long to continue the last path and hopefully finish that one if it's the same length. It's a bit long to continue tonight. So I'll save it and we'll continue on Friday. Annihilation route end. Yes, I will be saving. and unlocked. I won't be starting it right now. It has just saved, so that's fine. And we'll call it here.